Hey guys, so I'm going to do a little video about um, nail care and maintenance or just sort of cleaning your nails, um, looking after them, getting them pre prepared for um, polish. Um, so uh, I'll just get started. So um, obviously you want to remove your nail polish that you had on before, um, so you need a nail varnish remover. Um, I like to use this one from Boots. It does have acetone in it, which is um, quite a harsh um, sort of chemical, liquid, whatever it is. And um, it can make your nails dry out. It can be bad for your cuticles, especially if you have sensitive hands or sensitive skin. So you might want to try an acetone-free one. But the acetone is what helps to remove the polish better. So um, it's sort of a balance, I suppose. Um, I like this one because it actually smells quite nice. It doesn't smell kind of um, chemicals-y or like, you know, traditional old nail polish remover. It does leave a nice scent on your hands. Um, then um, another good tip is after you've been in the bath or the shower or while you're in the bath, um, soak your hands in the water. Obviously, you can just soak your hands in a sink as well. And you want to um, use an orange stick or a hoof stick to um, push back the skin or the cuticle that you have on your nail but you don't actually want to push back this part of your nail the, cu the actual cuticle um, because that helps to stop infections or bacteria or anything getting into your nail um, or making um, you when you get little sore bits around your nail and things like that it helps to prevent all of that um, but a hoof stick will push down, you get um, sort of a piece of skin that grows up from the bottom of your cuticle and grows up your nail and you need to soften it um, to be able to push it back. Don't try and do it dry because you'll just end up jabbing your cuticle and it will hurt. Um, so make sure they're wet or you can buy things from Nail Zinc OPI that will help to dissolve the cuticle. But to be honest, five, ten minutes soak in the bath will just do it easily um, to do it when you come out and then you want to use this angled tip to just push it down gently um, without pushing too hard onto the actual cuticle and then what you want to do is get one of these little contraptions um, I think they're called cuticle trimmers and what you want to do is just trim away that um, so just show you. trim away that dry bit of skin that you've just pushed back but again don't cut your actual cuticle because it really hurts and it takes a long time to repair I've done it it's not nice don't do it and so be careful with these um, but if you do that it helps to elongate your nail and it gives a really nice look to your polish otherwise if you don't do it you get a little ridge at the bottom where that piece of skin is so you want to try and avoid that um, something then I like to do and is something I've started doing recently not very often I probably do it once every um, few weeks is um, or a month once a month maybe month every six weeks or something um, you can buy Sally's um, a product called bubble white which is basically um, uh, powder you put into um, water and it's sort of effervescent so it will fizz and will clean your nails. Um, I've tried it, it didn't work for me um, and I don't know where I read this, somebody might have left me a comment, I might have seen it on a blog, but they recommended or suggested good old denture cleaning tablets and this really works. Um, I've got these Sterident extra strength ones because I just thought extra strength got to be good um, you just uh, run the sink a little bit just enough to dip your fingernails into it um, pop one tablet in to sort of like warmish water like lukewarm water and just wait for it to fizz and um, I've done some pictures on my blog and I'll link you to it at the bottom there um, to show like a before and after um, of when I did it recently um, and it really does work um, so it, it prevents that yellowing uh, staining you get on your nails because um, this helps to whiten teeth which you know your teeth and hair and nails are all made up of a similar kind of you know nature so um, uh, yeah this gets the staining off dentures and teeth like the yellowing from coffee and things like that 
and it will help to remove that from your nail. So that is a good tip and it really does work. Um, one very good thing to do for your nails and um, you should do probably once a month as well is to buff your nails. And you can get these um, sort of four-way buffers and they have they often have a file side a ridge remover which is where you often get if you get peeling nails you get a little bit of a difference in um, the smoothness of your nail that helps to remove that to buff your nail which smooths out the nail and then if you're not going to wear nail polish uh, if you're not allowed to wear nail varnish to work or school or whatever you can just shine them up to look like really healthy and shiny nails um, I really enjoy doing this, it gives your nails a really smooth base to put polish on um, your nails like it, it's like exfoliating your face, you know, it gives you your nails a new sort of uh, new skin, a new sort of lease of life I suppose um, it's a really good thing to do for your nails every month or so um, then another good thing to do is to apply a cuticle oil. So if you're going to take away two things from this video I would suggest buffing and cuticle oil. Um, I just happen to have the Avoplex from OPI but Nails Inc do one, um, everyone will do a, a cuticle oil, you can get them everywhere. Um, and this really nourishes your nails after you've buffed them, you know you've put, uh, pushed your cuticles down um, this really gives some nourishment to your fingers, um, stops them drying out, um, makes them look healthy and helps your nails to grow in a healthy way. Um, then, uh, filing your nails. So if you want to keep your nails in a nice shape, keep them short, um, I highly recommend a glass file. Um, this is the best thing I ever bought um, to do with my nails. Um, I love it. I cannot touch an emery board. They make me gag. But I just hate them. Um, and I love a glass file because this is an investment. I'm not going to lie. This is about £20, which is quite a lot, really, for a nail file, you think. But um, they never you're never going to need to replace it unless you, like, sit on it or stand on it or something, which don't do that. Um, and the other good thing is you can file both ways with this. Um, whereas with a um, emery board you can only go one way because you will splinter the nail if you go both ways which this doesn't happen with a glass file you can get smaller ones like handbag sized ones but I've tried a handbag sized one and I broke it so um, and I don't really ever need a, a nail file sort of away from the house so um, I'm okay with having this one I think uh, Leighton Denny does one OPI do one this one is just from Nails Inc um you can get all kinds of ones now with like crystals on them and you know um you can get like diamond ones and really go all out for a glass file but i really recommend getting one of these so you want to file your nails down to a nice shape whatever shape you like whether it's a little bit rounded a little bit squarer i like to keep mine short and a little bit rounded at the sides and then lastly you want to apply a nice hand cream. This is my favourite at the moment, as we all know. Um, another favourite of mine is from Clarins, their hand and nail cream. I love that one. And also Elemis do a nice one too. Um, but you don't want to apply your hand cream just before you're going to apply your polish because um, it makes your nails greasy and your polish won't like it. Um, and you'll probably find it won't last as long if you've just applied um hand cream or at least wipe it off your nails, clean your nails before you apply a polish if you've just applied hand cream. Um, and then you're ready to paint your nails. Um, obviously use a base coat if you're going to paint your nails um, because that will stop any staining and um, you know will stop you having to do all that hard work next time you come to paint your nails. Um, you won't have to go through all that process. I'm sorry that was kind of a long video but um, I hope it helps some of you guys out. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below and um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.